Rushdie spent years in hiding after Iran's Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini issued a 1989 edict, a fatwa, calling for his death, but had traveled freely over the past two decades. The hour-long stand with Salman gathering was presented in part by the library, by Rushdie's publisher, Penguin Random House, and by the literary and human rights organization Pan America. has been a constant, indefatigable champion of words, and of writers attacked for the purported crime of their work," said the day's first speaker, Penn CEO Suzanne Nossel. The rally did not include any new words from Rushdie, but Nossel said he was aware of the event, and even made suggestions for what to read. On Friday, other readers included the author and journalist Gay Talese, author and former Penn president Andrew Solomon, and the poet, lawyer and activist Reginald Wayne Bitts. Actor Asif Manvi read from Rushdie's upcoming novel, Victory City, which he completed before the attack, and includes the passage I myself am nothing now. All that remains is the city of words. Words are the only victors. Eugenides, whose novels include the Pulitzer Prize-winning Middlesex, remembered traveling to London in the early 1980s. Eugenides was 20, and Rushdie's breakthrough novel Midnight's Children had recently been published. That was the world we used to live in, Eugenides added.